Hey everyone and welcome to my little Christmas pottery mold adventure. This is the end of a mini series within my Christmas series, Making a Christmas Village. Stay tuned to the very end to see me put the village all the way together. Oh my goodness, I have this little baby mold and it is the last piece of this little Christmas mini series that I'm doing of the Christmas Village. So I'm not going to show you what it is until I pour it um because i want to see if you guys can guess what do you think is in here it's kind of like an accessory for the village it's actually a different name brand but it's an accessory for a christmas village so there's a chance that maybe it doesn't really go with my village but i don't really care i have this vision in my mind of having like a little box of figurines whoever i have that's a little person who comes to my house I just want to have this little box of figurines that I make without spoiling anything else. This will probably go in that box. So let's do it. <laughs> so I got this little mold all cleaned up, put its rubber band on, which is used to hold in all of the slip and got it poured. This one took hardly any clay, <laughs> it was just so tiny. And when I went to flip it to pour the slip out after a very short amount of time, none even came out. So it just soaked it all up and it was ready to go. A few hours later, I was able to go ahead and open this one up to trim it, just since it was so small. And so when I opened it, there's two side by side that are exactly the same. So you're gonna have to let me know if you guessed carolers. I think they're so cute with their little coats and their little warm kind of like feelings all snuggled together. Um, so I got it all trimmed up and cleaned just a little, getting those edges clean and using my sponge to kind of smooth it all out, but there really wasn't too much to do for this to prep it for glazing. It didn't take long at all and then it was ready for its bisque fire. I have our little carolers here. They are so cute, but they have a lot of little details and I'm a little nervous <laughs> because um, I've clearly been painting the cabin. That was my last cottage and then I decided to just go ahead and do the carolers too. So I'm so excited to be finishing up this step of the process so um i think i'm just going to literally paint them white and then i might add a little detail or i might just leave it white because i feel like if i look at it just like that it looks kind of cute so um yeah i think i'm just gonna paint it white and i know that sounds a little bit boring <laughs> but I don't know. It just kind of seems cute to me. Like, I feel like I did so much detail in the village. They have detail on them, but I also just, I'm not very good at painting the intricate little details. I don't know if I need like a special set of brushes because obviously I don't have any like really fine line brushes. Um, and a magnifying glass <laughs> to pull off these like tiny little details. But um, I'm going to need something different because I don't know how to paint little things like this. It's just not my strong point. I think I do a lot better when it's just solid things that I can do my own spin on. So um, yeah, I don't really... I don't want to think that they're like ghosts or anything because that's not fun. Um, maybe they're angels or maybe they're just really cold. <laughs> so here it is all ready for its glaze fire and I was kind of disappointed in myself a little bit for not adding more details but I decided to move forward and just be happy with what I did and then I pulled it out of the kiln and 
dropped it. So sadly, these carolers did not get to enjoy their life inside of my little village, but here I am setting it all up. It is just so rewarding to see it come all together after feeling like I spent so much time and energy trying to just make it special. So here's a little peek at that other village that I talked about in the very first little mini episode. So I stole the trees from that and brought them over to my shelf to kind of set this all up. And I decided to use my reindeer, which was a project I made early on in Christmas this year. And here are the ones that my daughter made. <laughs> she made the other four reindeer in my set of eight. So I put them into the village too, so that all eight reindeer could happily be together. And here are our little elves sneaking a peek at the village this morning. But here it is all together and it's just so warm and cozy. And there's so much potential for adding more over the years and tweaking it and finding more accessories, finding more little village houses and different trees to put around it. There's just the sky is the limit. <laughs> so I'm going to be hunting very hard for more village pieces throughout the year so that next Christmas I can continue this really fun little project. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.